Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog? Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me, but you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do, I, I do recall something of the sort, but naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. But wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. Stop trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. You can look it up. But you know better, right? Yep. Emmett? I... I... Wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931. The day I single-handedly captured Kitani. The scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland. My scientific views are the love of my life. Take a look. What do you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What do you see? Oh, what's going on? Ça bug. J'ai eu peur. Euh... Donc on va passer sur euh, sur tout le monde un par un. Donc <rire> j'avais pas vu The Virtuous Husband. Husband. Putain, j'ai du mal. Euh, le mari vertueux. <rire> Donc Arthur McFly. Remember him? Arthur McFly. Your grandfather, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. You and I served a subpoena to him back in '31. Preposterous. <laughs> Edna. Wow, oh, I never noticed this before, but Edna definitely had the hots for you, didn't she? Hots, yes. Edna was the first member of the fair sex to see something special in me. She saw something, all right, and she ran with it. <laughs> That's all. Emmett. Hmm. Looks to me like a kid who's all psyched about his new invention. That's where you're wrong. Although my rocket car had accidentally captured Kit Tannen, it was also a widely impractical and dangerous idea that would have triggered unimaginable consequences had I pursued it further. Luckily, Edna came along and channeled my newfound fame into more practical pursuits. Kit Tannen. I'm almost sorry we put Kit Tannen away. We? Yeah, come on, don't you remember? You disarmed him, and I trapped him in the rocket car. No, that's not how it happened. Et là, je pense que la plupart d'entre vous l'ont déjà remarqué, mais on est derrière. Marty et Doc. Could that be? I think it is. What? It's me and you, the other you. It is me and you. But how? Sonny? It's impossible! No, it's science. Your science, Doc. In this other world, the one you say you come from, am I... am I happy there? Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? Not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to. Anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe... My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they're afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Edna have got him all terrorized. That's Mrs. Brown to you, Sonny. Doc, kindly address me as your honor. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. Do you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? 
Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that. A story told by a madman. And I've determined that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine, but I'll be back. With proof. Aquan's proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Dad! Pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewinding. Oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah, ah. Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. An indice. Bon, déjà on a une batte de baseball, hein? Dad, that's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh wait, don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? <laughs> oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? What's the last thing you remember? <sighs> I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my... My tapes! My tapes! What happened to my tapes?! Stay calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage! Cassettes. La boîte de cassettes sont là. Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... who could have done this to me? And who wouldn't want Doc to get the straight dope on Hill Valley? Edna! Are you saying I was mugged by the mayor's elderly wife? Um, not exactly. No. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. Allons prévenir la police. I can at least call the cops. Don't you dare! I don't want the authorities to know anything about those tapes. Not yet, anyway. There's gotta be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months? Six months? But I need those tapes now! You need the tapes. Uh, what I mean is... Il faut que je donne ça au citoyen Brown. I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was gonna furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. And I was in his office, just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring stray dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well, history's changed. Prove it. Uh, I'm telling you the truth, Dad. I've been breaking rules all over town. You'll have to convince me. Ah, oui, c'est vrai. 
faut juste que je montre. Euh... Je crois que c'est ça, la pile d'avertissement. Read him and weep. He merits, but it's the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his Hill Valley's just made everybody miserable. Shh! You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait, I, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I, I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. But first I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh no, 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 no. Dad, this scheme of yours, maybe you know what you're doing, I can't say. But leave me out Dad. of it. Dad, I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But. Fais-le pour. Euh... Pour Arthur. <laughs> Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tannen and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. And what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. Gotta cover all bases. Now help me figure out which monitor I'm on. Donc maintenant il va falloir que je cherche sur les moniteurs euh, la bonne euh, la bonne section, la bonne caméra. Euh, bon, je sais plus, il faut que je teste. Que j'appuie sur les interrupteurs jusqu'à ce que je tombe sur le bon truc. Ouais, donc là, je crois que j'ai fait le tour. Voilà. Hello? Ah, mais c'est qu'il y en a plusieurs, non? Oh, je sais plus, putain, ça fait trop longtemps. Non, là, il a rien de spécial en plus. Oh, Peut-être qu'il y en a une autre ici aussi. That it? You're looking non. for the one that's trained on us. Ah non mais attendez je suis bête je crois qu'il faut que j'active juste le magnétoscope là There that looks like us oui, ça, So the surveillance con... tape must be on this VCR This must be before the attack Let's see I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5:30 The attack couldn't have been very long after Oh it's Biff But it can't be him The Citizens Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a Kitten, huh? huh? I can't understand it. That's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would hey, never. Wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's find out. I knew this zoom and enhanced feature would come in handy someday. Cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. It's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, wait, stop the picture. Can you zoom in anymore? X11, you know what that means? Not yet. Je vous remercie d'avoir regardé cette vidéo et à bientôt pour la suite du walkthrough de Retour vers le futur.